So here's this junker. Paid a thousand bucks for it. Uh, they dropped it on this side and knocked the hand wheel off and bent the end of the ball screw there. Um, the rest of the ball screw seems pretty all right. And there has it didn't bend it or anything, and it didn't break this end cap, luckily. Uh, besides, like, right there, but that's no big deal. Uh, they knocked the pendant most of the way off of it. I unbolted it the rest of the way. Um, it seems like nothing up here really got hit. Um, I guess it is the other side of the head that might have got whacked, but it's it's not smashed up or anything, it doesn't seem like. They actually upgraded it to an electronic variable speed head. Here, it's got a dial on the front of it, you turn. And that's the motor drive they put on it there. Um, not really a fan of that setup. It's less torque than the original belt drive, but it's all right, I guess. Um, I've moved the head up and down some. It seems all right. and just had to hand crank it. Uh, the Y-axis is a little squealy, but I think, I think this is just some stuff uh, rubbing in there. Um... I don't know, but, I mean, for being dropped on its side, it's really not in all that bad of shape. Um, there is that box there that got knocked off here. There's a couple, like, bolts broken off in there, but they'll probably turn out all right. And then I can straighten that box out and put it back on. That's the auxiliary control box. It makes it lets the, the control of the computer in here uh, talk to the other electronics, like the coolant pump and the spindle motor and whatnot. Um... Here's a pendant for it here. You can see the screen and all the, the keypad and everything. It was actually serviced kind of recently. Um, it says 2020 on it there, but I'm sure that screen got knocked out when it got knocked over. It's a CRT in there, so I'll have to do an LCD retrofit on it. Um, this is meant to be on the bottom of that. It also kind of got knocked off, but no big deal, really. Uh, they said once it comes on, it works good. Once, this, once the screen came on, it worked good. So, you know, whatever. Um, this guy right here, actually, is a DNC key to let me uh, uh, run long programs directly from a computer. And these little keys here are like several hundred fucking dollars, if you could find them. It's pretty ridiculous. The floppy, floppy disks in there. But, uh, yeah, for a thousand bucks, it turns out pretty good. Each of the uh, the uh, drive motors for the axes, I could probably sell them like fifteen hundred or two grand each. Uh, that head, uh, this head, like assembly, if I put that together, probably sell it for a couple thousand. Uh, you know, so even if I don't put it back together, I could get plenty of money out of parts. So that's pretty cool, I guess.